Hey everybody, here I am again at Walmart parking lot. I haven't been here for a while and uh, just came down early. And I love to be alone and I just uh, was sitting here praying and you know meditating on the Word of God and the Lord spoke to my heart and I wanted to share with you right now and that's why it's kind of dark. It's still very quite dark and early here in the morning and I wanted to share with you uh, you know, just a really quick message about, um, you know, for those who have failed and who hasn't failed, really, who hasn't failed? Um, we all fail, you know, not necessarily intentionally, but that's just a part of our, our life, you know, we, we fall, we fail, we get up, we keep going, you know, all of those things that are part of the Christian life, and one of the, uh, one of the real uh, concerns is when you do fail, do not stay down. Do not quit. Do not turn back. And the reason why is because Jesus, as he said to Peter in Luke chapter 22, and you know the, the account of Peter, that Peter failed miserably, terribly, horribly. And Peter, um, you know, he was somewhat proud, kind of a, somewhat of a leader who thought that he was better perhaps than the other disciples and that he wasn't going to, you know, he wasn't going to fail Jesus and he wasn't going to, you know, turn away from Jesus in his hour of need. And Christ confronted Peter in Luke chapter 22. And he said, Peter, he said, I have prayed for you that what? That your faith does not fail. All right. I love that. I love that. That Jesus is praying for you and I that our faith does not fail even when we fail. And Jesus knew. Jesus knew full well that Peter was going to fail him. Uh, you know, he was going to deny him three times that he even knew him. And sure enough, that's exactly what Peter did. But when Christ warned him that that was going to happen, Peter, de Peter right then and there denied him and said, No, Lord, that's not going to happen. Uh, you know, I'm going to go to prison with you. I'm going, to, I'm going to even die with you, Lord, if I need to. You know, so you can count on me. You know, have no fear, Jesus. Peter is here. <laughs> That was kind of his cocky attitude. I'm sure he meant every word he said. I'm sure he, you know, in his own mind was thinking, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna be there for you, Jesus. You know, the others may depart and forsake you and leave, but I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to go with you even to death if I have to. And, Peter, and Jesus said, Peter, you're going to deny me, you know, three times. But he said, but... But when you are converted, in other words, when you turn back to me again, I love that. Jesus knew that Peter was going to repent. He knew that Peter was going to get his heart right again. He knew that Peter continued to love Jesus. And he said, when you, when you come back to me, strengthen the brothers, strengthen the church, strengthen my disciples. That was his commission to Peter, right? That was his mandate. Peter, you're going to fail me in spite of what you think. You're going to deny me. You're going to forsake me. You're going to turn away from me. But, Peter, I am praying for you. Why? So that your faith does not fail. Listen to me. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, how many times you fall into sin, how many times you, you know, feel that guilt and that remorse, that anguish as Peter felt. The Bible says when he recognized what he had done, that he went out and he wept bitterly. He was truly, truly sorrowful for his failure, even though he continued to, you know, try to convince Jesus that he wasn't going to fail. Don't try to convince God that you're not going to fail. Listen, you need to trust the Lord each and every day for daily grace, daily grace and strength, you know, to, to not fail, you know, to stay pure, stay focused, you know, continue to walk in faith, continue to walk in obedience and, and don't get so cocky, right? Don't get so uh, you know, high and mighty, you know, holier than thou. Because we do fail. We don't have to fail. We don't have to sin. But thank God that if and when we do, Jesus is praying for us, what? That our faith does not fail. That's the most important thing. Because it is our faith that keeps us going, church. It's our faith that keeps us strong and focused, right? From faith to faith. We've come this far by faith. And Jesus said to Peter, I'm praying for you that your faith does not fail. And it didn't. Peter's faith did not fail. He repented. He came back to the Lord. And Jesus said to him, when you come back, strengthen 
my, my people, strengthen my people. That is the mandate of the church today because there are many that are walking in such discouragement, in such heartache, brokenness, woundedness, you know, sins from their past, failures that continue to hound them and continue to, you know, be such a nightmare to them. And, and, it's, and it's, it's imperative for you and me to strengthen them as leaders in the body of Christ. Strengthen them, encourage them, stand with them, you know, uh, stay together, you know, and uh, just continue to, to, to do whatever you can do by the power of the Holy Spirit to lift them up, right, to pray for them, hallelujah, and to be there for them so that they, they do not fail totally and completely and walk away. So that's the, that's the message that the Lord laid upon my heart today for myself, and I wanted to share it with you. And so remember that Jesus right now, right now, is praying for you, that your faith, your faith does not fail. You may fail, God forbid, but if and when you do, remember Jesus is praying for you. Repent, get right with God again, keep on going, and leaders strengthen the people of God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and bye-bye for now.